Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are diving into an exciting unboxing and first look at the TP-Link XX530V router, a versatile powerhouse designed to elevate your internet experience. This router is packed with unique features including three types of WAN ports, a standard RJ45 WAN, an SC optic fiber WAN and even its USB port can be used with 3G or 4G dongle. I got this router to upgrade my Geo fiber connection which comes with an optical fiber with SC connection. Connector because the default router lacks the advanced features I need for a future proof setup. In this video, we will explore the router's design, key features, and what makes it stand out. Plus, I will share why I chose to buy it from FG Tech Store and give it a shout out to an awesome YouTube channel that helped me make this decision. In upcoming videos, I will guide you through setting it up with GeoFiber. So make sure to stick around. Let's jump in. I have been using GeoFiber at home but the default router is pretty basic and doesn't offer the flexibility and advanced features I want. After researching, I found the TP-Link XX530V version 1 which is perfect for my GeoFiber SC connector. I snagged it from the FG Tech Store for just Rs 4200 a steal compared to the Rs 6000 rupees on Amazon. Since it's my first time ordering from the FG Tech Store, I was a bit skeptical about whether it would be genuine or brand new. To ease my doubts, I stumbled upon the Geeky Twix YouTube channel, an absolute gem for tech tutorials. They have fantastic guides to setting it up with GeoFiber or Airtel Fiber and many more. I will drop their channel link in the description, so be sure to check them out. Their videos gave me the confidence to hit that buy now button. And now we are here for the unboxing. Let's get to the fun part, unboxing. The package arrived in pristine condition with excellent outer packaging to keep everything secure. Using a knife, I carefully sliced open one side to reveal the router's box. The box itself is sleek and informative, showcasing the router's key features. Here is a quick tour. Front, a bold branding and clean design. Back, highlights key features like SC optic ports and USB WAN capabilities. Sides, some more key features. Top and bottom, list package content and the price. Before we dive deeper, if you are enjoying this video, please smash that like button and subscribe if you are new here and also hit that bell icon so you never miss out update on new videos. Inside the box, removing the plastic wrap, we find the router nested in eco-friendly soft cardboard cushioning, a great alternative to polystyrene or some people refer to it thermocol. Inside we get a quick installation guide, you can pause the video to check it out an 18 watt power adapter with generously long cable, a yellow RJ45 Ethernet cable, a refreshing change from black or white cables, the TP-Link XX530V router with a glossy finish protective by a plastic film, 4 adjustable antennas for optimal Wi-Fi coverage. Let's remove the protective plastic and straighten those antennas to get a closer look. Router design and features The TP-Link XX530V is a sleek, modern router with a glossy black finish and a compact design. Here is a breakdown of its key elements. Front panel indicator lights. The front panel features a series of LED indicators for quick status check. Number 1. Power light. Confirms the router is power on. Number 2. Jeep on light. Indicates the fiber connection status. Number 3. Loss light. When off, it means the router is receiving signals properly. Number 4. Internet light. Shows if the internet is accessible. Fifth. Wi-Fi light. Indicates if Wi-Fi is enabled. Sixth. Phone light. Monitors phone function. All these are detailed in the quick installation guide for easy reference. Back panel, ports and buttons. The back of the router is where the magic happens. Number 1. Power port and power on off button. This is for powering the device. Number 2. USB 2.0 port. Use it to create a NAS with a USB flash drive or can connect a 3G or 4G dongle. A quick note, if you are wondering about 5G dongle, they are compatible but the USB 2.0 port caps its speeds at 60 megabytes per second or 480 megabits per second, limiting 5G performance. For full 5G support, check out its newer version TP-Link XX530V V2, which has a built-in 5G antenna. There are four LAN ports. The fourth can be double as a WAN port if needed. RJ11 telephone port connects analog devices like phone or fax machines. WPS or Wi-Fi button. Press for less than 2 seconds to toggle WPS. Hold for more than 2 seconds to turn Wi-Fi on and off. 
reset button a reset button uses sim ejector tool to restore its factory settings if hold more than 5 seconds designed to prevent accidental resets bottom panel the bottom panel features a sc optical port for a optic fiber connection along with default wi-fi passwords for easy setups the TP-Link XX530V feels premium with thoughtful design choices like the eco-friendly packaging. The quick start guard is clear, vibrant Ethernet cable and the adjustable antenna ensure the strong Wi-Fi coverage and a versatile WAN options. The ability to use a 3G or 4G dongle or fiber connection makes it incredibly future-proof and the USB NAS functionality is a bonus for tech enthusiasts like me. This was just the first look. In my upcoming videos, I will walk you through setting up this router with my GeoFiber connection, exploring its advanced features and testing its performance. So stay tuned for more. This unboxing and first look at the TP-Link XX530V router. If you found this helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tech content. Let me know in the comments if you had this router or plan to get one and what features you are most excited about. See you in the next video. Stay techy.